Hey Gigabyte Tech fans, welcome back to the Gigabyte Motherboards and Bricks channel. My name is Leon Chen and you guys have probably guessed it, today we're talking about bricks. As you can see surrounding me, I have a vast variety of bricks from all of our different generations. Uh, you can see right off uh, from the front right here, we have our Bricks Pro in the red, our Bricks Broadwell with the NFC technology. We even have the Bricks Gaming, a Bricks Bay Trail, and even the older generations such as a Bricks from the Ivy Bridge. And we also carry the Celeron, Celeron, Bay Trail, and Braswell. Now, all of these bricks you guys might have seen from our different press releases, from our events that we've attended, or even some, from some media coverage. But this is the first time we're going to release this one out to you guys. Today, we're showing off our Skylake bricks. Now, we haven't just changed the bricks itself. We've actually changed the packaging it comes with. Rather than the sleeve that we used before, we've now changed it to a flap which actually has magnetic contacts, so it's actually easier for you to get inside too. So overall, what you get inside the box, you'll get the power cable, you'll get everything else that you need. So let's get down to it. Let's have a closer look at the two bricks that we have here. Of course, we have it in the classic, our Bricks Classic form factor, and we also have it in our storage version, which is also known as the Bricks S, which supports that 2.5 inch drive. Now, to do a side-by-side -side comparison, you can actually see from our Broadwell to the to our Skylake, there's actually a slight variation on the combo jack where the Broadwell is using a tip sleeve sleeve ring for the headphone and the microphone jack, where on the Skylake, we've actually separated it for users. So let's do a quick comparison of the ID. Right, right on the top, you can see that power buttons actually changed from a circular design to a triangular design. And this one, we're doing a comparison with the classic version with the storage version. Of course, we can do a side-by-side -side with the same classic version. And you can see there hasn't been a big change in the height overall. We've talked about the front. Now let's move to the back I.O. And on the back I.O., you can actually see that they're fairly similar. Um, we do have the power jack. They're at two different points at this time. They're on opposite ends. Right next to that, we have the HDMI ports. We have the mini display port gigabit ethernet, and then two USB 3.0s. So for the Broadwell to the Skylake, total USBs are four USB 3.0s, counting the front and the back. Um, change in ID where we've talked about earlier, it's no longer the gloss black where fingerprints stay on, it's actually more of a brushed aluminum feel. So you can, can actually see something a little bit more different. We've made it a little bit more stylish this time around. And not only that, on the internal components, we've updated as well. <clears throat> For the Skylake bricks, you're looking at a 2280 M.2 using a socket 3. So you're using a faster connection speed rather than the traditional M SATAs that were only operating at 6 gigabits. You can act, operate up to 10 gigabits and up with this new platform. We're also including Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, with Bluetooth being at the newest generation of 4.2. So very low power, very supportive of all of the new Android and mobile devices, iOS devices you guys have in your houses right now. Aside from that, this is just a quick glimpse of what's to come on the Gigabyte Bricks platform. If you guys like what you guys see, please feel free to subscribe, like and subscribe the page. Any comments, put it down below. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. We do reflect on some of the comments you guys make towards our designs and what we do in products. So definitely do that and definitely check out our Facebook page for any new updated information. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.